Hola mi gente, es Game Boy Zero, and let's talk about growth. Today I wanted to do a video, another retro handheld gaming video. And I think the last thing that we need is another cover about why to buy a retro handheld emulator. In my hand, I have the RG405V, and it's a fantastic emulator. This thing can play up to the GameCube and PlayStation 2 almost flawlessly. And don't get me wrong, I am going to do a video on this, maybe in a real or short, but just like this handheld, I feel like I was doing way too much. Like I started asking myself, why do I want another system to play a bunch of games that I'll never finish? And it kind of takes away the beauty of hunting for that nostalgic thing or hunting for another video game that you used to have when you were a kid. And it takes away the feeling of finishing a long game that you spent so many hours on. Um, no, here, if I get frustrated with a game, I'll just move on to the next thing and check in the library. And while that's cool and fun, and there was a time where I loved that, I'm kind of over it. The retro scene is cool and I love it, but it doesn't have the magic that it used to. You can call this video a rant. Uh, you can call it um, whatever you want, but I'm glad that I'm able to document this because it's part of growth. I'm nearing the end of my 30s and I started this channel kind of in the beginning of my 30s. This romanticized hunt for something that I used to have and a joy that I would chase that I used to have. And I think that's where it ends, right? Because it's something that I used to have that I'm trying to hold on to now. I'm trying to capture it now, but it's just an echo of something that once was. The name Game Boy Zero came from the fact that I wanted to play all the games that I never got a chance to when I was a kid. Wasn't well off financially, so we didn't have all the latest and greatest. And in fact, I got a lot of hand-me-downs and I think there's something beautiful about that because if I would have had everything I ever wanted, I probably wouldn't have appreciated it as much as I did or as much as I do now. Now that I'm older, I'm able to get whatever I want. And that magic kind of dies down within time. Got a lot of cool stuff. Got to review a lot of cool stuff. Got to engage with a lot of cool creators and cool people. But I think I want something not necessarily more, but different. I still want to appreciate and love retro handhelds like these and things that Anvernick pulls out and things that Analog uh, release, things that Arcade 1UP want to put out. I love all that stuff, but I want to do more. I want to do it differently. So I think what I'm trying to say is this channel is probably going to be growing up a little bit. My thing is how can I be minimal and how can I still be functional while still appreciating and collecting. Because there's something called collection hoarding and that's what it started to turn into. You would come into my room and you would see a massive collection of everything from cartoons to video games to toys and it just got way too much. I even started a record vinyl collection. I have a whole arcade from Arcade 1UP here. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But then when you start to combine it with all the things that I do, because I am a music producer, I am a book publisher, I am a graphic designer, I am a web designer, I am a video content creator, video producer, I am all these things and you put it all in one room and it starts to get way too much. So while I love devices like this, sometimes they just do way too much. What season am I in right now? I don't know, but I know that I want to minimize a lot of the things that I do. I want to change my style or maybe explore different styles a bit uh, and embrace something new. I'm a creative. Uh, I tend to be very ADD in the way that I think and the way that I function. So I embrace that as a superpower rather than a disability in the sense that I always need change and I thrive in change. So there's a lot of changes coming up. And one of them is the location of this office. So I'm gonna be changing some things uh, within that. I'm gonna be changing how I produce, how I release content. 
I'm going to be very selective on the people that I work with. Uh, I'm going to be very selective on the content that I work with and the content that I review. Uh, one of the things I love are bags. I want to review new bags and how bags are functional with the way that I work daily because I love to work hard, but I also love to play a lot. So how do I combine those two? While I do uh, appreciate and believe that consistency is key, especially in content creating, I also feel that embracing change and the evolution of oneself, um, especially when it's it's good for you, right? I think it's healthy. And um, that's where I'm at right now. So then one of the things I'm going to learn is lighting too, because I have my window open while I'm recording this and the sun keeps going from warm to cool out there. So if you see that in this video, I apologize. Are you feeling like this? Do you tend to feel like this sometimes? And if so, I would love to know about that in the comments. Write it down below. I, I, I'm looking forward to what the next season is. And if you're down for that, follow me. All right. So until the next one, vamos, let's go.